Now, one more quick question on this. Do you, how do you think the the real boom of like van life and RV life that's that's boomed over the last couple of years has really contributed to like the the the, the parking deficit for truckers? Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting question. Um, I think in my mind, it's not something I've thought about a ton, but I know like us personally with our, our company, with our 97 mm -hmm. locations, we, we get calls about asking for RV parking or a, just a truck, like a, you know, a, uh, just a, a normal four door truck or something. And if there's availability there, we'll, if it's not tight on availability, we might say yes. But if it's anywhere tight on availability, that doesn't align with our mission. Yeah. So we want that we want all these spaces to be allocated to anything from a box truck, an oversized box truck up to, you know, um, uh, a tractor trailer or even an oversized. So for us, um, it's not something that we really um, put much effort in to we just typically say no or that's not what we do um i could right. see i could see that you know it's possible that real estate properties have been converted into rv parks instead of truck parking i could see that argument where it's like well i don't want to mess with truck parking so we're, we're just going to do rv parking because the demand is there on that as well mm -hmm. I, i'm sure that's happened a lot um but I don't know. You know, it's a good question, but I, I don't know how much it's impacted it. I could definitely see from a uh, another way. I bet it, it happens is at rest stops. I, I, I yeah, I guarantee at rest stops like the larger RVs probably um, probably do take up spots, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah. But I'm I'm sure that does happen, and I'm, I'm sure there is some percentage. Uh, that it's affected the market uh it's, it's just not it's honestly not something i've thought a ton about no that's uh, that's totally fine i was just kind of wanting to get your your take on it i know i know a lot of people just in my my circle weirdly have been um in rv life or van life as of like the last couple of years just because it seems so uh seems so obtainable it seems so you know let's go see the country let's go see the world and I know that like a lot of people, like I know, I know a lot of areas that have developed more RV parking or RV spots or van life camping spots that could have potentially been, you know, parking for, for truck parking. So just curious on your take on that. 